Okay, my dear students, how to solve this problem in fraction of seconds without pen and paper? You will enjoy this type of shortcuts. My dear students, I am lazy. That's why I like shortcuts very much. Let us try to understand this problem here. So you all know that he is asking us to find out the dimensions of Young's modulus in terms of uh, speed, area and force. So how are you going to do that one? You all know Young's modulus is nothing but stress by strain. Stress by strain. And strain does not have any dimensions. So Young's modulus can be directly written as stress. Which can be written as force by area. That's it. Your work is done. Finish. Amazing. So you will write y is equal to f a power minus 1 as there is no speed in this formula you can just write v power 0 so your correct answer is going to be how much it is going to be b option hope you have enjoyed this shortcut thank you very much have a nice day my dear students today i would like to discuss a very amazing short trick where you will enjoy this short trick you can solve these type of problems in less than 10 seconds hope you'll enjoy this session now you can just see here he's asking us to find out the surface tension in terms of energy velocity and time generally what you'll do and waste you a lot of time by raising the powers tension is directly proportional to e power a v power b and t power c and you will spend your quality time in an exam in solving these type of problems which waste your time so i'll tell you an amazing short trick here so uh, how can you do this one now let us see you can write tension is equal to force by length multiply numerator and denominator with length so length by length so force into length is force into displacement can be taken as energy okay so you'll write energy now and in the denominator you write length whole square you know length is nothing but displacement you can write this as velocity into time whole square that's it your work is done over so tension is having a dimensional formula e v power minus 2 t power minus 2 hope you have enjoyed this session thank you very much have a nice day if you like this subscribe to my channel prescribe to your friends and describe the comments below what type of shortcuts you need my dear friends i have discussed uh, discovered a simple shortcut method to solve this problem you can just see here it's very interesting if you observe here see this lengthy method given in the books of previous year questions so here you can solve this problem with a simple logic it's a very interesting and amazing logic you can just see here so he's asking us to find out the dimensions of density in terms of force length and time how can you do that one in a simple shortcut method it's very simple you can just write uh, force is equal to mass into acceleration okay and you can write force mass is nothing but volume into density and acceleration you can write it as lt power minus 2 so force volume means you write l cube density l t power minus 2 so density of your cube at one place you can write force this length is l cube goes to downwards here l here l power 4 okay and t power minus 2 that's it so density you take at one place remaining you transferred below force below force you can just transfer it so finally we're getting uh, density is equal to f l power minus 4 t square see how amazing this trick is okay my dear students i will do these problems which are shown here with an amazing shortcut methods which will save a lot of your time if you are a neat aspirant okay let us go ahead now he is asking us to find out the fundamental formula for mass in terms of force, length and time. So you all know that mass is nothing but force by acceleration. Okay. Uh, you all know that acceleration. Acceleration can be taken as LT power minus 2. That's it. So your formula is ready. Force, length power minus 1, T square. That's it. Your option is ready here. Okay. So... Now, let us go ahead with the second problem. In the second problem, he is asking us to find out the dimensional formula for force in terms of pressure, velocity and time. You know that pressure is equal to force by area. So, force is equal to pressure into area. 
okay and he's asking us to find out velocity in terms of area area means what you'll write l square area means l square you know length is nothing but displacement displacement is equal to velocity into time so here instead of uh, displacement d we can take length here length means you can substitute v into t here so therefore f is equal to pressure instead of l we write v square t square your formula is ready let us go for the third problem here he is asking us to find out the dimensional formula for energy in terms of force acceleration and time so you all know that energy or work done both are having same formulas that is force into displacement which is taken as length here okay so but here acceleration and time is required here so you all know that here uh, okay so we will take it we can take here energy is equal to force into displacement and you know acceleration is nothing but lt power minus 2 so l means you can write a t square if you transfer this t here so therefore energy is nothing but force f instead of l you can write a t square your formula is ready hope you have enjoyed this type of amazing methods to solve the problems to solve this problem by using shortcut method here is asking us to find out Young's modulus in terms of velocity velocity acceleration and force so you all know that Young's modulus is nothing but stress by strain okay so we can write Young's modulus is equal to strain does not have any dimensions stress is equal to force by area stress is equal to force by area strain does not have dimensions so here you all know area means you can consider length into breadth which is nothing but l square and you also know that there is a formula v square minus u square is equal to 2 into a into s s means displacement you can take it as l if initial velocity is 0 then you can take u square is 0 therefore we can write uh, 2 does not have any dimensions so we can write l is equal to v square by a l is equal to v square by a so in here you have to substitute the value of L then you will be getting Young's modulus is equal to force by L L means V square by A whole square therefore F is equal to V power 4 by A square so therefore your final answer is going to be F A square V power minus 4 so therefore this is going to be your answer without using raising of powers method it's a simple shortcut method to solve any problem of this type thank you very much okay my dear students how can you solve this problem in a shortcut method okay so uh, he is asking us to find out uh, the dimensional formula of surface tension in terms of energy velocity and time okay so how are you going to find out that you know the general formula for tension is force by length okay i have written force by length i can take now energy is equal to force into displacement here displacement i will take it as length here because energy and work both are same so energy I'll, i am writing as force by length then i can write force is equal to energy by length here that's it so instead of tension i will be writing energy energy by length already force by length one more length is there so instead of f i am writing e by l so it is going to become e by l square and you also know that length is nothing but displacement you can consider as velocity into time that's it your answer is ready no need of any raising of powers method it's very time waste okay then you can just see you know e is equal to e into i mean v comes to numerator becomes v power minus 2 t power minus 2 your answer is ready in fraction of seconds you can do this problem without pen and paper also if you practice a lot thank you very much have a nice day you can just see the lengthy methods given in the books it will take nearly one minute or more than one minute but I'll tell you a shortcut formula here so he's asking us to find out the dimensions of energy in terms of force acceleration and time so for that what we have to do you all know energy is equal to okay so what is this energy energy is equal to work done which is nothing but force into displacement okay you all know acceleration is nothing but having a dimensional formula lt power minus 2 okay so you all know if you take l at one place and send this time to other side it becomes at square okay so that's the answer here force 
instead of length you can write a p square so your answer is ready hope you have enjoyed this shortcut thank you very much how can we solve this problem in a shortcut method he is asking us to find out the dimensions of mass in terms of force velocity and time so the easiest method to solve the problem is you all know force is equal to mass into acceleration and you know mass is equal to force by acceleration and you also know that acceleration is nothing but change in velocity by time so if you substitute here mass is equal to force acceleration is equal to change in velocity by time you can write this as f t comes to numerator okay v power of minus 1 so like this this is going to be the answer so d is your correct option hope you have enjoyed this method thank you okay my dear students you can just see this problem here he is asking us to find out the dimensions of energy in terms of momentum area and time so how are you going to find out this one i'll tell you an amazing short trick where you'll enjoy that method which i'm going to tell instead of writing uh, energy is directly proportional to p power a a power b t power c and solving for all these it's a nonsense and nuisance let us have some common sense now so you can just write here energy is equal to mc square you all know about this and you also know that energy is equal to mc into c okay so you know mc mc c is nothing but velocity of light so c you can consider as velocity v velocity of light is v let us take so mass into velocity is taken as momentum so momentum into again velocity so momentum is taken as p here but again you have to write velocity in terms of area and time how are you going to do that one it's very simple you can just uh, see here what i am going to do now i'll be writing here area area is nothing but l square that means L is nothing but a power of 1 by 2. Okay. And you know that velocity is nothing but displacement by time. So instead of displacement L here, I will be taking a power 1 by 2. Okay. So I am writing here now a power 1 by 2 by t. So now what I am going to do here is, I will just write now uh, p like that only. Instead of velocity, I will write a power 1 by 2 divided by t that's it i got the answer your answer is ready so the answer is p a power 1 by 2 and t power minus 1 that's it this is an easy and shortcut method to solve the problem this time thank you very much have a nice day baby